Good morning to you. I'm in the town of Great Yarmouth, and um, those of you that know this part of the world would know that it's very similar to um, places in the world like Las Vegas, well, this of course on a very small scale, Blackpool, which is in the north of England. Great Yarmouth is a place of pleasure, and uh, as you can see here, there's an old Empire Theatre and Leisure Land. These are all casinos. Another one there called Gold Rush, a little bit further down. And uh, it's a lovely place in the summer to come with your children, to uh, have fun. A little bit further down from here is Pleasure Beach. And um, all great fun, great entertainment to turn you away from the things of God and uh, of course it's great to have pleasure and to have fun and I don't think there's anything wrong with that but um, I think sometimes uh, it's important to um, realize who it is that's giving us the fun as opposed to um, and of course to know where the fun is coming from also this morning I thought about the strategies of Satan and the way that he works to um, take hold of our lives and what came to my my mind today was this I thought about strategies in the army and um, in the army you go onto a battlefield you go onto the battlefield with a particular plan and that plan is to defeat the enemy but the enemy has plans for you as well he wants to bring about your complete defeat and I want to look at the ways that he does that. And uh, I've got some words here. Now, those of you that are better than me at English will know that if you put I-O-N on the end of a word, which of course is called a suffix, then um, you can have all kinds of words that mean all kinds of things. And I've got some this morning here, and I want to look at Satan's strategy for taking over our minds because let's face it our minds are the battlefields and when we look at the way the devil works we know that um, he often is so successful isn't he oh, by the way you can see the lovely sunrise there coming up so let's have a look at some causes how does Satan work to distract us from the Lord. <clears throat> Firstly, temptation. All of us know and understand what temptation is. And um, it brings about something. And when we're tempted, we're distracted away from the things of God. For the first two ION words I want to consider today, temptation that leads to distraction. And when we're distracted from the things of God, Satan has infiltrated our minds. Infiltration. Seeping in through the door. It's a bit like a flood of water coming through. You know, as the flood rises, the, there's always that little gap under the door and the water starts to seep in. So we're tempted, aren't we, by something. Something we see, something we hear. And then we're distracted. And we're distracted away from the things we should be looking at. And then we're infiltrated. Infiltrated perhaps with pleasures, all kinds of thoughts that come into our minds. Satan knows the triggers, doesn't he? And then we're seduced. Seduction. That's another aim of the devil, isn't it? To seduce us. And once he's drawn us away with his hooks, so that starts to seep into our minds and we find that we can't break away so easily when we allow that temptation to take root and we allow that distraction to lead us on into being infiltrated and then when we're seduced well we know we're on the road to destruction another ION word 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 says now the Spirit expressly says that in the last days men will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. 
we often think about the doctrines of devils, but the seducing spirits, they want to get in and infiltrate our minds in every way. Turn us to, towards pleasures, pleasures that we wouldn't normally consider, perhaps. Yes, as I said at the beginning of this video, it's great to come to places like this and have fun for the day. But to keep it within that context of walking with Christ, sometimes it isn't easy, is it? We find ourselves drawn away. So the causes. Let's have a look at the effects of all that now. So, once we've become tempted, distracted, infiltrated and seduced, our thinking becomes distorted. Satan, that controller of the mind, distorts our thinking. And our reasoning becomes depleted. Distortion and depletion, two more ION words. And once that happens, we start to become emasculated. Now that may not be a familiar word to many of you. It means really so to be cut off, to be cut short, to not be fully in control, to be diminished in your power, to be depleted. And once Satan does that, he can start to achieve his goal. And what's his goal? His goal is captivation, another ION word. When he captivates us, what does he do then? He starts to dominate us. Yes, Derek Prince actually did a wonderful teaching on this. Domination, manipulation, witchcraft, he called it. It's all part of witchcraft. And Satan knows how to use these tools. So we are captivated. We're dominated. Now, domination is more than control. We talk a lot now, don't we, about control. Especially now with this inoculation, I'm going to call it. And we know that Satan's plan is to inoculate us. Not just with something in the arm, but with something in the mind. And if he can get to our spirit, he would love to, wouldn't he? Yes, he wants to give us his mind. The satanic mind. Paul says in Philippians, Have this mind in you that is in Christ Jesus. Have that mind of Christ. Satan wants to give you his mind, his satanic mind. But we must turn away. Right at the very start, at the moment we're distracted, at the moment the temptation is facing us, so that we can look away. I've written here, the tool we fight with is decision. The tool we fight with is decision. That's the, G the power that Jesus has given us in our free will. We can decide for Christ any moment of the day. And we have the power to do it. Psalm 68, verse 18 says this. He took captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Captivity has been taken captive in Christ Jesus. We don't have to fall for all these IONs. These, damn, these temptations and distractions and infiltrations because they lead only one way they lead to damnation another ION word that nobody wants to face but if we allow the process of Satan to, to do its complete work that's where we end up in damnation I've also written this today this is worth remembering I hope Freedom isn't rights or movement. It's Jesus himself. To be free isn't just to be able to have liberty and go where you like and go to the pub and go to the shops and get on an aircraft without anybody questioning you. That's only the freedom of the body. Jesus has given us freedom in the mind, freedom in the spirit, it's not about rights, it's about him. And if we were incarcerated, if we were locked up, and we've lost our physical freedom, we know that in him, all things 
are true and good and all pleasures are in him it says somewhere I think it's Psalm 16 correct me if I'm wrong pleasures forevermore so here I am at Yarmouth and Pleasure Beach looking at the pleasures of man but God wants to give us pleasures and they're pleasures forevermore so let's stand and stand and be inoculated with the power of the Holy Spirit that's our true inoculation and that is going to help us to stand not help us to stand it will enable us to stand against the satanic mind have a blessed day